right, so the Overlord trailers uh, left us interested. Well, me anyways, not so much Morsha. Uh, looked to be sort of an action horror, plus big budget studio, and even had the J.J. Uh, Agrams name attached to it. So, how did it turn out? Let's find out. <laughs> Okay, I gotta let everybody know up front, this is gonna be a spoiler-filled review, so if you haven't seen the movie yet, go check it out. Alright, you're here, so that we're on the same page, it's World War I. Fresh off the uh, Hayseed Farm, local yokels are dropped into France to take out a tower uh, with uh, basically a Nazi experiment lab underneath it. And the hilarity ensues. All right, we start off with likes, and of course, well, actually not of course, but in this case, uh, with the big budget and the big studio backing came some really top shelf gore effects. Um, I even think that there was some practical in there. Yes, there was a lot of CGI. By the same token, it was very, very well done. CGI, I've said this a million times before, the very best CGI is CGI that you don't know is there, and uh, I think this had quite a lot of that. Um, plus the, the practical, you know, from from the gore, um, they did right, really bang up, really you know, stand up job on that one. Second of all, um, I was a little bit concerned, kind of going into this, that this was just going to be sort of a little zombie trope, and they really took a a different approach to it um, from the standpoint of. They're not zombies. Uh, they're just sort of, you know, like the old uh, Captain America super soldier uh, gone very wrong, um, with, of course, one glaring exception, which we'll cover in the dislikes. Nonetheless, um, you know, it even got shot in the head and it didn't stop them. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Now they seem to have a fire thing. So I guess, you know, Frankenstein throwback, possibly. I don't know. But anyways, regardless, uh, those things were, were very, very well done. And last, um, I do have to give it up that it was not sort of your just generic, stale, by the book uh, a plot of, of anything, really, because they kind of mishmashed it up. Uh, it definitely was a true action horror movie. A lot of action. Probably more so action than horror, let's be honest. Um, but it wasn't just a simple tale of, you know, zombies run amok. And, you know, it wasn't, you know, just them you know, on this mission, it was, they, they did it well enough to sort of round off the characters and, and, and make it interesting on that level. All right, it is dislikes time, and uh, my biggest dislike, I, I don't want to say it's a plot hole as much as it is a plot convenience, okay, because they never really went into or established what this super serum does, which then affords them the opportunity to kind of make it do whatever they want to do, with one exception. They did establish that when you get injected with this stuff, boom, you go off the wall. The first dude who gets it, that we see in the movie anyways, um, you know, ends up jerking his head back so far that he pops out, you know, all his bones uh, and, you know, attacks all his friends. He finally has to have his skull crushed and be put down. Okay, so that's what happens when you take this. Unless, of course, you're the main bad guy. Then, you can inject yourself, and I guess twice is the secret, and now you're perfectly normal. And, you know, you can walk around, and your stuff, you know, half a face starts to heal up, the whole nine yards. Again, total, you know, plot convenience. Then, the other big, huge plot, whole convenience, I don't know what you want to call it, is the entire sequence uh, with the lead underground, just walking around. Never, you know, there's the, you know, whether it's to be believed or not, there's supposed to be 40 people in this little five-room bunker, and he, you know, 10-room bunker, whatever it is, and he's just walking around unnoticed. And just take after take after take of him almost being caught and ducking into a convenient corner, just too convenient, too much. It just, yeah, it just did not, it did not work. It really ripped me out of the, the willing suspension of, of disbelief. Um, yeah, so, again, not, not a whole lot, um, you know, the movie was, was pretty tight, but those were some really glaringly obvious problems. Alright, it is pinhead time, and, uh, this is a horror channel, so I'm gonna have to skewer this towards the horror side, because it's mostly an action movie with some good horror gore, you know, blood and guts mixed in. 
Um, as I said, plot conveniences were a bit annoying, but it was a pretty solid effort otherwise. So for me, and for horror fans alike, I'm going to have to give this two Pinhead movie. Alright, so what did you guys think? Please let me know in the comment section below. Yes, I know this is not a pure horror movie. It does have horror elements. You can't argue that point. Oh, maybe you can. Give it a try in the comments below. Plus, subscribe to the channel and like the video.